Yo, hey, what hey, is hey. going on? Hello, boom, boom, boom. my nerd swag TV. It is Sunday night and it is time for a chat. I don't know what you're doing right now, but want to encourage you to like, share, follow, chat, hang out with us. It is going to be a great night. So, James, what's going on, my friend? Not much. It's been a fun Sunday afternoon. Yeah, uh, staying busy as always. Yeah, yeah. I went out to Davenport, Oklahoma, off Route 66, and uh, nice. took mom out to eat and got to see my oldest daughter and nice. had my youngest daughter with me, and we just had a heck of a time. I love it. I love it. Food <laughs> was good. Food was good. What were you Food was at? good. We had to wait forever, but uh, the payoff was at the end. It was good. Good. It was worth at, the uh, wait. Scott, Scotty B's. Scotty B's. That's awesome, man. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, awesome. Um, you know what? Today we're gonna we're gonna do a real quick um, we're gonna do a real quick uh, like you know uh, haul of the week. I forgot what the word I was tired of thinking. We're gonna do a real quick haul of the week, bro. I have. If it wasn't for, I found a new thing that that I'm really worried about. That I with my personality may give me some trouble. Have you seen the app called Whatnot? I'm gonna pull it up right now. I've seen it, and you sent me a link that I haven't gotten on there yet. Yo. I'm, I'm very disappointed. So it's called, uh, there it is. It's called Whatnot. And it's basically live auctions all day long. Live comic books auctions all day long. Wow. So um, I, uh, that com or uh, that Spider-Man booth was doing a live auction the other day. And mm -hmm. uh, so I just jumped on, kind of goofing off, wanted to see how things were going. It was noon on a Monday. Noon on a Monday. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so... Dude, nobody was bidding on anything. So, and it was all newer books. And, and I was like, man, I'm, I'm, I'm down to clown. Let's have some fun. So I uh, threw out some bids and ended up with, I mean, I spent 15 bucks. So for 15, eh, maybe 20, let's go with 20. Cause I don't know how much shipping was, but 20 bucks. I ended up with some books that were just fun, cool books. I went with just like, I went with pretties today. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> none of these are keys or anything like this. It was like, I like that cover. Yo, Mr. And Mrs. X. This one right here though. Yeah. Come on. That's pretty dope. That's pretty good. Who's the, who's the artist on that cover? You know what? One of the iconic boys. No. Yeah. It's gotta be. Let's see. I think it was, uh, yeah, I'm not going to guess. I, I originally thought it would might be, uh, I, I don't know. I'm not even going to try to guess. And then I picked up the, uh, which I haven't really read this, but literally this this is the most I spent. I got this whole set of three of the Rorschach from Watchmen, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I got this one, this one, and this one. I got them all for 10 bucks. I was like, at minimal, I'm going to flip these on a, on an auction here pretty soon. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. That's good. Um, and then uh, my mystery mailbox from Mainstream Comics came in. Yeah. And bro... I don't know. Like, okay, so the comic books were fine. You know, you get five comic books, and they were fine. They met the value. But, you know, the money I spent was they were promising uh, this this print that I wanted, right? Mm hmm So they send this print to me. Now, I want you to see the size of this print. First of all, gorgeous print, right? 11 by 17? Yeah. Okay. Actually, is it that? It feels bigger than that. It's, it, it's yeah, it's definitely. It looks like 11 tabloid. by 17. It's tabloid. Okay. Yeah, so eleven by seventeen. Yeah, but um, signed by the signed by the artist, right? But this this dude actually wrapped this on the inside of a Gemini like this, and mailed it to me that way. And literally, this was the whole cell. This right here was the reason everyone was buying these, right? He's like, really? I got eleven of these I'm selling, you know. So you invest money, expect to get one of these, and instead of like wrapping it in a in a poster tube or something. He put it in a Gemini box with the other comic books. He put it in there with them and they didn't tear yeah. it up. They didn't crease it. It, 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 it has. Really there's like, I mean, it's hard to there's tell, but there's some marks and stuff on it. I, yeah, I've had yeah. it sitting underneath the, uh, underneath a bunch of books and stuff. Mm -hmm. And, uh, try to flatten it out. Once you yeah. get it behind some glass, It'll uh, look that'll fine. take out most of it. But yeah, that's just, he's just trying to get it all in there. Cause it costs extra for the tube. It yeah. costs extra to mail the tube. Uh, it's a separate thing, but the tube itself is really not that much. Uh, yeah, postage. I mean, it's less. I don't know. Five. I don't know. I, bucks, listen, I do get but... it, bro. It, I get it, man. Like, uh, you know, I'm doing. I'm. I've got a uh, an auction that I'm doing weekly right now on Hip Comics. We've mm -hmm. opened up a store. JT's Collectibles is on 
there. And so I'm just throwing out every filler book I have, I'm throwing out right now. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, uh, so I get the shipping side of things, but I don't know, man, if, you, if you're going to sell a poster like that, I, I don't know. I don't know. So. Yeah. He was just trying to save on shipping period. Yeah, probably and put it probably. in there. You know, I haven't done anything exactly like that, but I did some things where I was shipping out to some people and I was like bundling the boards and the bags. Cause I had so many books in one thing and man, some people gave me a lot of flack about it. I was like, what? They're not, are they messed up? You know, whatever. Yeah. Like, you don't ship them. You don't ship them like that. You don't do it. <laughs> well, okay. I don't know. Anyways. Well, uh, Amanda B's asking, when did our background, our logo and our background has changed in the last three weeks. So thanks for yeah, noticing. Look at the logo. Check it out. Let me point yeah. to it right Well, it's right there. up here, but yeah, I, I, yeah. I'll pull it up later. But um, anyways, Hey, um, do you have any anything for the uh, haul of the week? You know, I didn't get anything this week. Okay. Uh, All right. Honestly, do better next week, bro. Yeah, do better next yeah. week. <laughs> okay. Attention, Wait, Krusty Bunkers and Neil Adams Continuity Studio. Send me the books I'm waiting on. Yo, yeah, I'm not yeah, griping, guys. On. I'm just being funny. But, yeah. hey, if they'd send a bunch of stuff this week, my goodness, I'd have a lot to show you. Yeah. So. All right. Anyway. Well, it's coming in soon. It's coming in soon. I'm thinking the next couple of weeks, the next time we get on, we will have a haul because we're actually headed off to Uncanny Con. And, Uncanny uh, Con, a, yes. And, and we're going to be talking with Peter, uh, the founder and creator, I guess, uh, what is it? The or orchestrator? The, organizer. Uh, organizer. Yeah, organizer. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and and right. he is the orchestrator. I've seen the baton. Orchestrator, yes. Yeah, yeah. Dun, 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 dun. So, so let's uh let's go ahead with uh, no further ado then let's pop on and let's talk with him about uh this upcoming uncanny con and uh i'll be out sharing a screen here too pretty quickly so hello peter peter hey guys hello my friend how are you doing good brother how are you doing i'm doing great thanks i'm, I'm hearing you're exhausted man got a lot going on right There's now a lot going on <laughs> that's man, awesome in a good, it's way. good thing you're young young <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, tell us all the details. I'm going to go ahead while you're telling us everything that's going on. I'm going to yeah. pull up the website and show everyone uh, about the – it's next week, bro. It's next yes. week. Saturday, it's coming quick. Uh, I, so, yeah, the website, uh, uncannycomicexpo.com. And uh, we're here at the Grand Casino Hotel and Resort uh, yep. in Shawnee. It's right off of I-40 at uh, Highway 102. Real easy to find. Can't miss it. Um when driving down I-40, it's like the only thing you see between, I guess, Choctaw and... <laughs> Seminole. And I don't then, know. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Until you get to right. Shawnee. Um, and guys, yeah. everybody, if you've not been there yet, that venue is amazing. It's yeah. I love it. You know, it's a really, really nice uh, casino. And i uh, been in that ballroom uh, several times for different things, different events. And you will really get a, a kick out of it, honestly. That's yeah, awesome. it's pretty sweet. So they've got a big uh, grand event center, which is their where they do all their concerts and all. So we've got a big stage for the costume contest. Um, so we're doing a sweet cos cosplay contest, four categories, fifty dollar top prize for all of them. So a couple, of kids, uh, three, uh, two kid categories. So kind of uh, teenagers and then uh, under thirteen, and then a adult category, and then we have the master class as well. So, Ooh, wow. so we have a separate one just for those super pros all together. Terry, awesome. I think I think you could win the master class with with a good Ming costume. I think you could take it. <laughs> yeah. I think you could take it. Yeah. yeah, let's 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 go. I, I tell you're you what, legit. I'm, I'm I'm not. Uh, I just don't sell. I can't sell out enough. Like I can't. I can't. I just can't get into the character enough. Th these cats <laughs> that do cosplay, man, they are. They are legit in what they do. So. That's it. It's not just the. It's not just dressing up in a costume, right? It's, it's yeah, like, yeah evoking the character and that's what they're so great at and yeah and we've got uh in that room where the the stage is we've got the stay puff marshmallow man in there we're gonna have uh the yes. one we're gonna have a star wars speeder bike we're gonna have a vehicle from the umbrella Corps, uh from resident evil um we got mermaids this year we've got okay. uh, a few guest artists or uh, guest cosplayers in there we got the 501st legion rebel legion mandalorian mercs uh, Jedi OKC. We've got a steampunk group uh, called the Sky Marshals. Um, we've got Nerd Alert that does the Marvel and DC stuff, the League. 
um, is that group, uh, the Ghostbusters, I can see Ghostbusters. So tons and tons of cool great shot. cosplay to see. Um, the Star Wars guys are bringing their backdrops for pictures and Blaster Trooper, and then they're also bringing, uh, they've got a big box. I don't know if you guys have seen that at any other cons. Um, it looks like you're an action figure, so you can step into the box and get your picture picture taken as a Star Wars action figure. Very nice. All so right, that's yeah. one room. Um, and then we move into what I'm calling a, a, unofficially the writer's block, where we'll see Ooh. people like James Hostler um, and pitching out the, the Bobcat, which you just came out pretty recently with a number new f- issue there, right? Number five? Number five. So you can pick up number five there and... Um, We've got a, a good number of uh, comic writers and, and artists. So a lot of the artist alley is in there and some of the vendors and such as you're walking through that space. And then you walk into the, the big exhibit hall and there will be anything your treasure hunting heart desires, comics, games, uh, toys, all kinds of great collectibles and stuff. We've got 105 separate vendors, I think about 140 tables all together. Um, and it's going to be spectacular. So nice. we got all that. And then you go across the casino floor into the in the gaming space. So then we have all these conference rooms set up. Um, it's a total technically of the four different spaces, but it's technically three, four, five, six, eight different conference rooms all filled with gaming. Um, so one is going to have a, a small arcade and also we'll hold the Nintendo Switch tournament Ooh, and a couple panels yeah. that we're doing. And then yeah. more next to that is going to be all the tabletop gaming. So we've got uh, the Oklahoma Tabletop Gamers Association that are coming. And they're um, they're going to be teaching brand new games for everybody. And then we've got a couple of volunteers who will be teaching some of the um, uh, real popular games. You know, you want to come and learn some popular game. And so games all day long. You just pop in anytime. There's no set schedule on that one. And then we've got a, a trading card game. We're going to be teaching people how to play Pokemon if they want to do that. And we're also doing a Pokemon tournament where you can win a sealed booster box of Battle Styles Pokemon, um, as well as some other great prizes. Um, and then we've got the D&D room. So we're going to do a couple Adventures League sessions, which are great for beginners all the way through skilled masters of D&D. You can learn how to play it and do some Adventure Leagues. And then we've got the Gauntlet, which is the big D&D tournament going on there as well. So Wow. All kinds of stuff. In addition to that, just in the hallway space, we've got a student art competition. So if you uh, know any kids, grade, grade school all the way through college, um, that want to create, it's just the Star Wars theme. It's a very general Star Wars theme. On the website there, under the events, we've got um, a coloring sheet for the lo- real little ones so they can be a part of it too. Yes. We'll have our uh, celebrity artists will be um, judging those. And then we've got a silent auction to raise money uh, one of the Oklahoma City schools we're doing, you can find all the information on the website there too, um, in our Facebook. We've got that going on. And then, yeah, in the South Event Center also, we've got our celebrity guests there, Alan Fernandez from Star Wars. He's that original Tuscan Raider that pops out at Luke there at the very beginning of New Hope. Yeah. So Love it. So we could see him. He's going to be awesome. And then uh, see Andrew Nelson, who has some interesting distinctions. Number one, being a, a VFX artist. Um, working for ILM and such, but then also being the person who's actually spent the most time in the Darth Vader costume. Um, wow. For a, a, official, official Darth Vadering. So, the okay. Darth Forces video game. He did. The is F- this F- guy? Is he like big and tall? Is that? I'm I mean, not sure. He... I haven't met him yet. Yeah. Like, okay. Okay. I'm, I'm <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, he's Darth so. Vader, right? <laughs> I mean, making like a sum. height, right? Yeah. yeah. Cool. He has uh, he has so Darth cool. Vader platforms if he doesn't. So that's right. right. So it's covered one way or the yeah. other. <laughs> Some of those Pee Wee Herman shoes. Yeah, but no, that's oh, awesome. Yeah. yeah, he's been uh, he's uh, he did the uh, special edition reshoots too. He was Vader for those, and that's just awesome. Seems like real cool guys. And then you saw their uh, George uh comic artist as well. Um, he did Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Bishop the Last X Man, and uh, recently he did the uh, John Walker, the U.S. Agent. Uh, comic and um, and a really hot new uh, one in twenty five cover of uh, Star Wars: The High Republic number eight. So he's doing all kinds of ah, cool stuff. That's awesome. Yeah, nice. So I need to, I need to gather all my stuff that I need signed and sent off. I love it. Yeah. yeah. Will hey, CGC Will CGC be witnessing there? So we'll have a CGC uh, rep who's going to be. He's we won't have a witness for it, um, but we will have CBCS there to witness signatures. So. 
Um, we've got a CGC rep that can take books for submissions, but the but CBCS is who you're going to want to go to if you want to win. Okay. Gotcha. I got you. Yeah. So what, I need to sign up. I need to get an, an artist creator account with CGC because I have one with, uh, oh, I mean, sure. sorry, CBCS because I have one with CGC. I reversed it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I need to get with them and get that well, done. Well, I'll tell you, man, I was looking through all the vendors and I'm really excited. You know, um, I know with the local smaller comic book, comic cons that, that are going on, the comic conventions, you know, you, you're trying to bring in as many people as possible. So you got to meet a bunch of the needs. Um, but sometimes you go to these smaller ones and there's not a lot of uh, comic books. <laughs> right. And so and that's always been a big part of, of my vision of it all the way through is that yeah. at the core, it's a comic con. So yeah. I always want there to be a lot of comic books. Um, one of the things that disappoints me about even some of the really bigger shows is moving away from the heart of comic books. Yeah. And, I mean, San Diego is getting to the point even where a lot of the comic dealers have been priced out. And so they, yeah. they can't afford to be there anymore. And that's really sad to me. Yeah. Um, so that's a pop culture movies, con. Right. Yeah. This, and this word is coming and there's nothing wrong with mm -hmm. a pop culture con. That's a nope. great thing. Mm -hmm. People love it. I love the Marvel movies. That's great. But I want it to still, I always want it to be a comic con and that's something, yeah. um, you know, a lot of people say, who are your celebrities? Who are you bringing out this and this? And, um, and it, it's a fine balance. You got to find them because if you're going to bring out, you know, some big name celebrity, then you're going to have to charge 50 bucks a day for tickets and you're going to have to charge your vendors $300, $700 a table kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I always want it to be something that's affordable for families, affordable for vendors. So, you know, you're probably, you're never going to see an A-list actor at my shows probably. Um, but we got some really sweet Star Wars actors here. We got uh, George Jantia, a great comic artist and, you know, we'll bring out who we can as a service to the community kind of thing. And yeah, awesome. we'll, we'll always be doing that kind of thing. And it'll be great. So I think, well, you know, our, our goal is to be a really solid, large kind of regional mid-level show um, and, and keep them at that, at that yeah. stage. So that yeah. People can okay. Have a great time. I'm going to throw in my little witness of the entire thing so far. Yeah. I've been at each one you've had so far. Yes. You it have. was run impeccably great attendance the little ones were so welcome and had such a good time, but yet it didn't feel like you were at a kitty con. It had everything. Everyone was accommodated. Everyone was uh, addressed in that. And, and so I was really, really pleased with it uh, each time. And uh, last year we just snuck in just before they pulled the trigger on the, oh, just, the COVID thing. Just it was, made it. It was that week after that. The, the week after we shut everything down, right? Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. yeah. We and we had a good con. It was great leading into yeah. it. It was. Oh, yeah. It was good. Yeah. We still had like 2,200 people come. So it was great. Yeah. Um, for next year, I'm jumping ahead. This year yeah. is awesome. But yeah, uh, talking about guests, uh, we'll, we could probably get Sam back in town. Uh, if he schedule wise, if there's not a conflict. I right. mean, he would, he would do it. He will yeah. do it if, if there's not a conflict. So we can talk yeah, we about that. We definitely want to get Sam in. Um, for sure, we want to get Sam in. Uh, the agent that I'm working with, with the Star Wars characters, he's got a whole lineup of, of people he represents. So we're going to see lots more Star Wars characters come through. Um, awesome. And yeah, we'll be working on uh, uh, more and more comic artists. Just try to get all kinds of people in to see and and represent and... Yeah, we're looking right. forward just to getting a lot of experiences for people to meet with people that they love their their work. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, I can tell you this. I think I, I know. I know I, it's not just us. It's a lot of people. George just said this too. Um, I think everyone's getting excited to have comic cons back on, have the cons back on, get to meet with the artists again, get to, get to search through comic books once more. I mean, we're excited, man, and uh, and I'm excited to see what you're doing too. So I just, I wanted to throw that in there. Man, I'm excited yeah. to see what's going on. So, And I just want to say, it's so good to see you guys back. We've been gone yeah. on a hiatus doing all these things. George, everybody, Senior Replicator, everybody. <laughs> uh, honestly, we, we're glad yeah. you're here. We really appreciate it. Welcome it's awesome. back. Yes. We're back. Yep. Yeah, we're back. So, um, okay, so with, with the Comic-Con, what I'm excited about too is uh, I'm going to be hanging out doing the – basically my Nerd Swag TV live there. Nice. Um, we have a, a photo backdrop that we're bringing in that's going to be pretty epic to go along with this because we're, we're, we're excited about hanging out. And so um, I think that whole day we're going to be uh, spending the day kind of just streaming on and off. And anyone that wants to pop in the booth with us and talk with us, um, we'll probably go out and bug James at, uh, with the Bobcat booth. Um, you know, Heck yes, th throw random questions at him for no reason. <laughs> and, uh, 
try to get an assigned random bobcat memorabilia. That's right. I may just I may just go out and like buy a bobcat fur and uh, be like, hey, will you sign <laughs> there, this? There you go. So <laughs> yeah, for, for now and for the entire con. My signatures are free, which is a $99.99 value. Oh, so, Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Slow down. Come on now. What are you talking about? Come on now. Let's go. Well, well Let's I, go. I'm going to one-up you, Terry. I'm gonna, yeah. I'm going to get a, a bobcat, you know, the construction bobcat, and I'm going to oh. drive it through the loading door and have him sign that. So. Whoa. <laughs> now Challenge we're talking. accepted, my friend. Challenge and guess, <laughs> guess who can run one of those? All Mr. Right. Landscape there Contractor himself. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Where you got the name from? It's yeah. on. No, it's on. <laughs> no, I didn't. But you know, I, I, I don't actually own. I own a New Holland and I, I own a Kubota uh, track loader. But I need to get a Bobcat because I've said, you know what? The next machine I get, it's got to be a Bobcat. What am I custom thinking? paint it like your character, man? Yeah, oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> hey, you know, we could work that into a deal where I might even yeah, come get on. like a publicity machine. There you go. Right. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. That kind of deal. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. It could be one of the celebrity vehicles that we have. Exactly. Show. Exactly. So uh, let's talk with the Comic Con since we're talking about this in general, um, and and you know with the new kind of the way Comic Cons are going now, there's a lot of pop culture being added into it, which means there are a lot of people going to come in and they're not going to have uh, maybe there's going to be a lot of brand new people coming in to right. the to a Comic Con for the first time. Yeah. Um, as a as an organizer, how about give us some uh, give us some how to be a good person at a comic con. Oh yeah. Sure. Like give us some etiquette that we can, so that we don't, cause you know, we get, ex people get so excited when they're there and there's people like in cosplay and there's, there's beautiful books that you want to touch. And right. so how about give us some, uh, just give us some etiquette that we can like to be good people. Right. Teach that's me that, how to be a human. <laughs> that's a big thing, right? Yeah. Just like number one, I mean, kind of love your neighbors yourself kind of thing. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Come on. So just in general, bring in, bringing people in and um, we aim to have a, a place that's respectful to everybody in the community. It doesn't matter who you are, where you're from, what you do, who, you know, what, uh, what you believe in or whatever else too. All right. We're, we're here to try to build community and bring people together, um, find common ground and, and share the love of nerd culture. Yeah. Come on. Uh, so, yep. so that's the big thing is just coming in with an open mind, open heart to, you know, caring about each other and, and, um, just finding your fandom and figuring out what that is and getting rid of the problems of the world, leave them at the door and show people how we can work together to you know, make things better. Yeah. And so that, with man. that, it's just about respect. Like you're talking about respect each other, respect each other's stuff, respect each other's person. Um, we'll have signs up saying, you know, cosplay is not consent. You know, there's some right. people in some very, explain what that very, means. So explain what that means. <laughs> you may yep. see very beautiful people in beautiful costumes kind of thing. Yeah. Um, no matter how cool you think it is or how attractive that person is or whatever, that person is a person and, you know, they're, they're, they're showing off what they do and, um, very much you know, their talents and everything with their costumes. You want to be respectful, first of them, uh, of all of their bodies and their personhood, um, and treating them with respect. Second of all, of their art and their creativity, you know, don't yeah. touch their costumes. A lot of them spent hours and hours and months and yeah. <laughs> even sometimes years putting these costumes together and you, Oh, Hey, I'm going to touch that. Uh, when I did, yeah. Darth Vader, you know, kids always wanted to come up with a lightsaber and hit me with their, <laughs> I had a yeah, $4,000 like, Darth Vader costume. Yeah, you're like, and, your dad does not have the money <laughs> for you to hit me. Right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And so just thinking about that, no matter what age you are, that you're not, not whacking the stormtroopers yeah. with, uh, with your lightsabers or, or whatever else too. And, just being respectful of everybody in their in their stuff, and and then yeah, people's property, and um, when going through comics, have clean hands. Clean, Come on, clean. don't bring. General. Listen, it, it, don't put your fast food into in yeah. around. <laughs> Keep your fast food away from the long boxes. Like this, they're not even my long boxes. I lose my mind when I see this. Yeah, I'm like. That, yeah, the long box thing. I watch people pull books up, and they're putting pressure on there, even though they got boards on them, and they're, oh. they're putting creases in the spine. I'm yeah. like, guys, what are you doing? I'm sitting there cringing. Come yeah. on, handle it. I would also say, care, guys. Yeah, I would also say, don't don't handle the books on the wall. Like, have right. have the, the the books that are on the wall are expensive books. Right. Like, have if you want to look at it, have the dealer hand it to you. Yep. Like, I mean, even the ones in the bags and boards, I've had that awkward moment where something slipped and, and you know, you just buy the book. I mean, you, yep. you've you killed gotta, the corner, man. So, gotta, yeah, if you if you damage the book, you got to yeah 
uh, it's yours. That, that's been my philosophy. I was at a convention yeah. once where uh, somebody, you know, somebody who should have known better or like really uh, kind of a big person in the field, so to say, um, took a guy's, so tape is the worst enemy to comics. I think. Yeah. For some yeah. reason, oh, no. we, for some oh, reason no. we're really dumb as a community and we oh, put man. things in these bags and boards and then we put scotch tape on there. Yeah. And everybody probably has an experience of no, tape no. Pull right on their resealable, no resealable. No how professional you are, you've probably done it at some point. Yeah. And um, yeah, I, I prefer painter's tape. That's what, what I use on all my yep. stuff. Um, yep. But yeah, so the first thing is take off the tape or whatever else too if you're going to look at it you know as what's the most respectful is, is ask the person first can i take this out of the bag yeah. and examine the, the right condition? right and then have them do it for you and that takes away all liability from yeah, you come on. If, if the dealer messes it up himself then well that's my fault i it's my book i got yeah so the guy you're talking about, did he get the tape stuck on the actual paper? So it was a Hawkman four, you guys. So, oh uh, man! Yeah, so big, big key book. Dang. Like one of yeah. my books. It Dang. Clear ripped the top off of the book. Like oh, oh it was terrible. And he just kind of put it back in. Sorry, man, and like didn't offer to pay him for it. No, no, ever. you hunt that oh, dude down. You go. No, no, not, sorry, oh. doesn't cut this. No, Let me see your wallet. It was bad. right. It hey, George has got a great, wow. suge- great etiquette that people should follow. Awesome. Start with you. Start with you. <laughs> yes, Look, yes. But, and, and honestly, man, thank like, you, George, for, real, for your no, candid no, for comments. Real, some of the spaces you get into, especially when you get around the long boxes and stuff, you're gonna have a person on each side of you, man. Like, be over, mindful. Over. Yep. Like we yep. we don't want to spell we don't want to smell your spices. <laughs> That's yep. hilarious, man. Scary spice. So, so right yeah, yeah. Ahead. And that's something else too. So um, the CPN did just issue a mask mandate. Uh, so we, we do have to follow that. We're going to be respectful of the tribe's rules and everything too. And um, so, you know, proper covering here and here. Um, and then just thinking about that too, is social distancing. I know when you're elbow to elbow with people looking through comics and stuff, but just being respectful of each other's spaces and, mm-hmm. um, you know, waiting your turn and everything else too. And, uh, and just not, you know, budging in front of somebody to try to get to that book if they're already there. And so a lot of it is just thinking about the other person. It's being, being respectful and taking turns. Good manners. Good manners. <laughs> I think too, you know, with, with, uh, and it's cool with kids being there, but I think also, you know, as a parent, you, you're going to have to keep an eye on the kiddos. They yeah, that's a big thing too. Yep. That was, our, yep. that was one thing we learned from our first show is that we had put up a little bouncy slide type of thing. Um, and a lot of people just kind of left their kids there and, uh, we had some volunteers that ended up going to try to help out with that, but it yeah. really wasn't their job and it was, you know, yeah, parts to go and do that. Yeah. Um, but we decided not to do that anymore, but, um, but that's a big thing. We'll, we'll, we'll have something about that, that kids 13 and under or 12 and under all have to be with an adult at all times. I think it's just a good policy yeah. in general at, at any kind of show, especially if you're dealing well, with. Well, yeah, because even the toys the kids are going to want to play with. Yeah, kids sure. Toys, There's yeah, be lots of great toys, and, and there are toys there. That... Mini figs, and yeah, <laughs> and the, and the, the dealers want the kids to, you know, they're they want them to come and buy them and have a good time. But uh, yeah, yeah, you definitely. It's it reminds me. Uh, um, my sister had some foreign exchange student friends that came over from France or something, and I had a autographed baseball, a Whitey Ford and Tommy John baseball up on my wall. Oh man! And uh, <laughs> I was I was probably middle school or something, and the kid like takes it out of the <laughs> the ball holder, and like they start throwing it back and forth. Is like, come on, you got to know yeah. that that's a collectible item that's up there. Wow! With an autograph on wow! It that's amazing. <laughs> so, and yeah, so the, the vendors don't want things like that happening. So definitely. Yeah. Yeah, parents keep an eye on kids, but you know, they're it's there. Like you guys said, it's it's uh, James. You said you know I try to make it organize it so that there's something for everybody. I keep my wife in mind. I keep my kids in mind when planning the show. That yes. obviously, my brother says that I like to get knee deep in comics. Is how he says. Mm-hmm. So when I'm there knee deep in the, in the long boxes, I don't want you know, the significant other, the kids or whatever, just to be bored to tears. So there's vendors that cater to everybody. There's activities for everybody. There's lots of great uh, stage shows and stuff. I've got um, a group called Finer Arts Oklahoma that's going to come in and do like a costume creation workshop. And so they got a couple of workshops and things. We got a uh, Red Dirt D&D are going to do like a how to do a D&D podcast and Q&A. 
we're gonna have panels with the artists and the Star Wars actors. We're gonna have fan trivia. Um, it's a little bit for everybody from all ages and everybody that's can awesome. have a good time. So well, that's Excellent. awesome, man. Excellent. Well, yeah. Yes. Well, we're looking forward to uh, we're lo- looking forward to hanging out and and uh, I'm sure this week I'll need to call you and figure out uh, how to set everything up. We'll get all that figured out. We and, got a nice uh, bathroom for you to set your table in. And, woohoo! Uh, yeah, right next, to, <laughs> right next, right yeah. next to the dumpster out in the so, back yeah, of the alley. Say, it, uh, if it's right by the uh, the cash bar, then we should have a lot of customers come in there <laughs> after the, after the fact, right? Uh, on the on the <laughs> back. That's a nice thing too about it being there at the Grand is there's some really nice restaurants right on site. Yeah, um, yeah. So we don't have any food vendors or food trucks this year, but the reason is because the tribe wants you to come in and and use their, their great restaurants. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah we're they're, they're, be going out to Flame Friday night, so that's if you guys right. haven't been there, the Brazilian steak goes. Oh. Their, so their, their main <laughs> restaurant there uh, that does the buffet, all you can eat thing, which not everybody needs that. But every time we've been there, we've never had a bad time and where we said closed. the food quality was not good. Is it closed? Yeah, that was closed for construction right now. Sadly. Oh, okay. All right. But there's a nice that's good to know. that's right there next to the convention. And yep. Been there too. Subway if you need to you know, just get a subway. And then we have mm-hmm. got the, uh, they've got a concession stand right in the main hallway of the, of the show too with plenty of good food options. So. Awesome. So you won't go hungry. That's good. <laughs> That's right. I love it, man. I love it. Well, yeah, so we're looking forward to it next weekend. And um, if you are watching live right now, we would say go to uh, un, let's see, go to Uncanny Co- Uncanny Comics or Uncanny Comic Expo.com. Comic Expo. Yeah. Yep. Uncanny Comic, Comic Expo. Comic Comic Con is because uh, you don't like uh, being sued. Well, San few, Diego. Yeah, a few years ago, they yep. said, yeah, San, San Diego, Diego. Was doing uh, Salt Lake City. So we said, and eh, let's go ahead and just avoid any possibility of that happening. <laughs> right. Just sell, called, just send them back and say, no, no, no. We actually sell comic books at ours. So it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, we'll yeah, do something yeah. different. Yeah, yeah. It's not it's just fine. actors. It. We'll yeah, it's not just yeah. Marvel and DC showing off their li- latest TV show. So it'll be fine. It'll be fine. So, right. well, cool, yeah, man. Yeah. yeah, I look forward to it. I think everyone, it's going to be exciting. It's going to be a great weekend. Um, get your tickets now. What are tickets going for right now? So fifteen dollars for tickets, and you can buy right. them online if you want to skip the line. And we got a will call. You just come in, get your wristband. So everybody's got a wrist, wristband. Kids uh, uh, twelve and under are free. Um, we do offer a military discount. Say thank you to our active military and our veterans. Um, and for the families, they get that discount as well. Uh, awesome. And then awesome. we've got a premium pass possibility if you like. If you got to get in there and get the the first comics, and you don't want to miss out on the best collectibles and stuff. That's uh, limited to a hundred. We've sold a third of them so far. Um, that's Ooh, get on that, people. Yeah. So you get an hour early and you get a bunch of cool swag to go with it too. We got these nice new tote bags this year and lots of cool stuff. Hey, there it is. Admission. See how helpful I am. Premium <laughs> ticket. And it's worth it guys to get in there, be first in line. Cause people run out of stuff. Some of it's, they only have one or two or whatever of, of whatever item it may be. Yeah, so it's definitely cool. worth it. Uh, Peter, I was going to ask you, mm-hmm. uh, we probably talked about this already, but uh, you're going to probably need, uh, I can provide some 11 by 17, some little posters and some other stuff like that. Yes. Maybe some books for whatever, for swag bags, for uh, door prizes, absolutely, uh, that'd be great. fundraisers. And, and yeah. a silent auction. Yeah, absolutely. And anybody, we, we always ask the vendors to contribute to the silent auction, but if anybody else is tuned in and say, hey, I've got some stuff, I'm not, you know, it's extra or it's something I want to give away. It's right. totally a good cause. It's supporting a school music program, and nice. uh, we're all about supporting fine art. So that's absolutely, awesome, man. that's awesome. Well, awesome, man. Well, man, we don't want to keep you up all night. We know you got to get back to work and and hanging out with the family. And but man, we really appreciate you spending some time hanging out with us, and uh, look forward to hanging out with you next week and uh, seeing all the live streams that'll be popping out. We got some videos that'll be coming out live, or not live, but they'll be coming out throughout the week from a couple other things we've done in the last couple of months while we've been on hiatus and yes, uh, but man, Peter, thanks again. And, uh, I look forward and I think everyone does look forward to hanging out at the con this weekend, this I weekend to come. It. Awesome. Well, thanks so much for having me. All okay. Right, we'll see you soon, Peter. Yeah. Have a good one. All right. Okay. All right. Well, that was epic. It was I'm excited, man. So I'm looking forward to hanging out and, uh, um, just seeing how it's all going to go down. It's, it's going to be an interesting thing we're doing because, you know, normally you go to a place and we just film and put together a review video. So it'd be nice to hang out and just see who pops by and, and uh, what kind of trouble we can cause. And we'll be doing uh, some, some random uh, live 
transmissions or whatever you want to call it. Live uh, transmissions. Tra live. This is a live transmission. <laughs> live from the dam not, dumpster. Live from the subway dumpster in the back of the alley. Prepare in to my receive premium spot. <laughs> this transmission from the uncanny con. I like yes. it. I like it. Yes. I like it. So we'll so be doing that was, randomly at different times, right? We'll just yeah. kick, come on there, and you guys can watch it yeah. live. It'll be on not only my Nerd Swag TV, but it'll also be on Bobcat too, right? Yeah, yeah, on the yeah. Bobcat. We'll pop on yeah. all three. Well, it's, you yeah, know yeah. what? No promises and, now. And we need to get yeah. there. We need to get yeah. there and see what the signal looks like. Mm -hmm. You know what the signal is? We may just throw it only to YouTube. Oh, uh, yeah. So we'll have to just play around with that. So, yeah, but yeah. um, yeah, but we'll look forward to it. So be looking forward, and uh, we'll send out. We'll send out on Twitter. Uh, notifications right before we go live to let everyone know we're hanging out. So right, right. Anything going on in your world before we wrap up tonight, Mister Bobcat, sir? I don't know other than the fact that uh, <laughs> last month when we did uh, the New World Comic Con, I sold the most amount of books that I've ever sold in one yeah. day. Wow! Both, I think, both numerically, the number of books. And just overall sales volume dollars, yeah. And so I was completely pumped, um, and it was a decent show, wasn't jam packed, but uh, you know my experience with Uncanny Con, it's there's normally more people there, not you know disparaging anybody else, but normally there's more people at Uncanny. So I'm going to have a bundle just in case anyone's listening and you're going to be there. The bundle is either issues one, two, three, four five single issues or the trade paperback, which has issues one, two, and three with bonus material plus issues four and five together. Either one, your choice, 35 bucks for the bundle. And that was part of the key thing uh, is making it a good deal. And that way, anyone who wants to complete their collection or has never seen it before and wants to just get the whole thing at one time, 35 bucks is the way to go. And nice. uh, it, it's, it's a nice collection. And I, I don't think I have any full sets of books signed by the artist as well, because I think I'm out of number twos. I think there's a few of everything else left. And if somebody wants an artist bundle, uh, you know, they'll have to find uh, Jim Mesling when he's back around town somewhere to sign number two. Cause I was looking just, a few days ago, and I don't think I have any of those left. But we are going to see Jim October the 1st in yeah. Nebraska at that uh, Grand Comic Con. So, right. and, and they're setting us up at that place. And so we're really pumped about that. Hadn't seen Jim in well over a year. So, um, anyway, so that's what's going on. So, yeah, uh, take advantage of the bundle packs and everything. Yes. Yeah. Uh, you guys will really enjoy it. And I sign everything, just like I said earlier, all my signatures. You, I'm there, so I can sign whatever you want, and it's all included. Now, by the way, purchase. my signature is going to cost you, but um, that's right. But, but his are free. That's Mine right. will cost you something. So yeah, yeah. Terry um, can sign it too, which will double the value of the book. So <laughs> no, I don't yeah. want to sign any. I don't want to say Bob. I have nothing to do with Bobcat. I don't get any credit. <laughs> for that. I'll sign any random thing you want at a certain price. So you set the price. We'll talk about what I'm signing. So. That's awesome, man. Well, yeah, well, we're looking forward to next weekend, and uh, we'll be going live. So that means we'll most likely be going live Saturday instead of Sunday. Probably won't have a Sunday night show. Uh, but we'll probably do a I'll, – I'll make a review video, see if I can get it live by then. And uh, until then, man, we look forward to seeing everyone. We almost have MyNerdSwag.tv up and running. The website is being built right now. And uh, on it, you'll find – we'll start having some different articles and things that are going on. Plus, you'll be able to buy all of the crappy comic books that I pick up uh, so that, you know, you can have you can have a part of the joy of my collection. I know how much y'all love them, so we're going to start posting <laughs> them up through Hip Comics. And, uh, you know, if you're if – you're, listen, if you're tired of buying it by the pound from Goodwill, just buy it off me. It still has the Goodwill smell on it, so it's going to be a lot of fun. We'll have a lot of merch <laughs> popping up then. There's some great T-shirts and stuff happening. So, anyways, we're looking forward to it. And, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see you guys next week. Talk to you soon. Thanks, everybody, for tuning back in. Good to see everybody that used to follow us all the time. Glad you're back. We love you guys. Stick with us. We're gonna, we've got more coming. Yep. Enough said, friends. <laughs>